What's up, YouTube? This is Prince with ATP 101 and Apple had just released iOS 11 beta 2. And if you don't have iOS 11 on your device and you want to get links to a video, it will be in the description. It's pretty simple. You don't need a computer, you don't need to pay anything, and it takes five minutes and you could have iOS 11 on your device up and running. So, this is beta 2 right here. They also have Watch OS 4 beta 2 out as well. So, if you want to do that, you could also get that. So I'm going to tell you guys there's some new features and also some bug fixes from different from beta 1. So the first thing I want to talk about basically is control center. There's a lot of different stuff in control center. Now you could do the do not disturb for driving right from control center. Now it works. So you could tap on it. There's more features to that also. And when you do the flashlight, it no longer turns yellow. Usually this, the flashlight would turn yellow, but now it's black. And also for low power mode it will also turn yellow now it's t turning black and if I go right here you can't force touch on the clock to set like quick timers and all that stuff that's no longer working and also one problem that I have a little bug that I had I couldn't turn on Bluetooth right from control center it wouldn't work I have to literally go to settings and then turn it on from there so now this is working and yeah that's cool so I get out of control center go to settings there's no new wallpapers. There's no new wallpapers in here. So, yeah, we'll probably get some more eventually, but there's none right now. So, if I go to Control Center, now it's different. Usually, not really usually, but in Beta 1, all the apps were right in the bottom as soon as you open it up. But now you could actually turn it off within apps and then you could tap on it and then go in there and put whatever you want in. So I'm saying so now you could go in here and do not disturb. You could do whatever you want with that. And yeah. So the new looking control center. Let's go back out here. Do not disturb. So you could set it up however you want it. So if you could activate it, this is while you're driving. So if you wanted to activate manually. You could just have it and it will check your speed and know if you're going too fast then it's going to have it. No, that's for automatically. So if you have automatic on it will check your speed then it will turn it on. And then when it's connected to your Bluetooth, so if your car has Bluetooth and it hooks it up to it, it would know that you're driving. So it would turn on do not disturb or you could just do it manually and turn it on as you feel. You could set up your replies. Oh, whatever you want to do. Everything right in here. So all these stuff. So no, do not disturb work. And this is actually a good feature. So that's real cool. And another thing they switched up is if you go to photos. You no, know, the edit button is up top. Usually the edit button was down here. Now the edit button is up top, so you could edit it like that. Hit cancel. So, and this is the bug I was talking about. So you see right here, this little glitch right here on the screen. I had that in beta one. Whenever I would listen music, and then I would finish the music, this wouldn't go away. Every time I open my device, it would dip this. The widget would be right there, even though I'm not listening to the music. It would just be grayed out, and it would just be right there on the screen. But now that's fixed. So I'll go to the lock screen. I don't have no more. It would always be there. So yeah, that's fixed. And another thing, there's a lot of simple little UI sketches. Like right now, usually it had a squiggly line right here for the new sketch, but now it just has the the little pen or the little marker right there. So yeah, that's one thing they switched up and also the geek bench if I go to geek bench so the performance went up so I'm going to show you my history so this is beta 1 right here on the 12th so beta 1 is 5894 for multi score and 3442 for single score single core so the new one is 59 and 34 so it actually went up so it's actually going up the battery life on this thing is horrible 
like literally battery life on beta one is absolutely horrendous this will not last you a day if you don't have like a battery pack like I do that I could tap or top it up every now and then so yeah the battery life on this thing is horrible and there's a lot more little features that you could you could get into but it's nothing really major now you could swipe up which is, this has been there for from beta one to get the filters you could just swipe up instead of actually tapping into it so yeah that's real cool and let's go on now. there's nothing real crazy in here I'll go to accessibility where is accessibility go to general accessibility this change you just used to stay here and age and all that but now it says MFI so that's that's a little bit of difference nothing real nothing real major not yet at least not yet probably in beta beta 3 we're gonna get something real important but as of now it's just minor little bug fixes a little some little UI changes that you can't really tell unless you have like beta 2 and beta 1 right next to each other it still is a little it's still kinda of buggy I mean there's still a little hiccup on there what the, the speed mm, the battery life is definitely horrendous so hopefully that switched up we got the little widget up here so yeah that's beta 2 guys nothing major let me know if you find anything I just wanted to show you guys the new beta for iOS 11 and beta 2 and watch OS I'm gonna download that later and update it because it's here as well so yeah there you go guys it's Prince with ATP 101 rate comment definitely subscribe for more videos like this peace thanks for watching